Hello everybody, my name is Anthony. welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4, Mary Nostrum as Venice. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, we're still at war with Hungary and Austria. Well, actually, not, uh, not Austria, just Hungary. Because we did piece them out just at about the end of the last episode, I believe. So that should basically make the rest of the war a cakewalk since, you know, we have more troops. Aragon and Naples, you know, they're in the war, but... You know, they're not, they're not doing anything. They provide 27,000 of these troops. But, you know, they're all the way on the other side of the Mediterranean, so I'm assuming they're probably not going to be able to actually get to us. Oh, they're actually sieging on Corfu. Well, I, I, I couldn't care less about Corfu. So we have these ships right here. It's mostly transports. I, f I feel like we could probably beat transports in a fight. Um, 22... I mean, we have a handful of transports ourselves. I mean, maybe we won't go there. I'm not too sure what I want to do yet. But I want to take all my claims. That's some. That's one thing I do know I want to do. Yeah, and if you could just hang out. I don't care if you occupy Corfu. I mean, I'll probably give you a little bit of war score. Um, three. But that, you know, it's not, it's not a huge deal to me. Like, I, I, could, I could live with it. So there's still about a year on tech. We were 999. Yes, I'm, we're not going to spend any points on ideas or anything. What, what can we what can we spend about a hundred Divla points on? I mean, we can maybe convert like a culture. Is there any cultures that we don't accept in this area? No, I don't want... I, I, why is this even on here? Get rid of this. No. Well, I want to look at accepted cultures. Now, it looks like we basically accept everything in our country at the moment. So, what could I spend it on? What's something that costs... Oh, I guess mercantilism. It's exactly 100 points. Fantastic. We got a small Aragon um, army here. Yeah, you've occupied the territory. Do we have a general? We do have our 513, so we might as well put him in charge of this army. You go occupy this province. We still have this guy by, uh, from Ragusa, but it should be fine. Maybe Poland will actually go and occupy Serbia for me. That'd be quite nice. And they have a one stack over here. That should be easy enough to deal with. I'm assuming we can actually walk over here. Yeah, we'll just put in like any general and just walk over there. And, you know, just get the kill. We'll go here. We'll occupy this province. Uh, did we, did we ask Poland for land? I don't even remember really if we were offering it or not. Our armies are under attack by. Oh, Naples showed up. I mean, we are on the defense, but still, it's pretty bad for us. Like, what, what, what military techs are these guys on? Six, six. I think we're on six as well. In January, we will start getting artillery. Yeah, we should probably. Man, we actually probably don't need to reinforce this. I think we're gonna win. We'll occupy back our territory. They're gonna go all the way back here, but that's fine. And Ragusa, I feel like I can probably just get you out of the war, right? Transfer. Hess? Oh, this is this from the trade league. No, just give me, like, your. No, they won't do war reps. At least 10 war score. Well, if anything, I'm not, I don't really want anything from them. Just, just white piece them out. And one thing I didn't even think about, I did see a post on um, the Paradox subreddit, is that this button right here, uh, once we find it, let's let's look at Luca, for example. Before, you know, the... Where is it? Transfer trade power. This button used to be completely worthless before. Because it took up a, you took up a slots here in your diplo in your diplo slot, but now that it doesn't, we could probably like we have a trade league. I mean that's good and all, but I feel like I see just getting more people to just transfer trade power, like the Pope for example. He won't do it. Number of countries minus sixty. So we're not guaranteeing them. Okay, well, well we we probably will get people who are bigger than like size one. 
Like, Bavaria would maybe do it. That's hard to say. Apparently our military is just not strong enough. We're getting a claim on Thames. Where the hell is that? I'm not even too sure. Oh, we actually got a claim on Hungary. Well, isn't that convenient? But Let's see. Did we? Okay, we did not. Like, just our claims is 54 score. I think we might just take as much territory as humanly possible. Sadly, we did a Black Plague or Ally, but that's fine. Uh, yeah, you guys should actually just, like, suit your role. Actually, are you mountains? Hills, 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 hills. I might as well just stay here, then. It doesn't really make a difference. Hey, you go kill them. We have a 10 stack coming in. Well, we're probably going to want to send our troops to reinforce. I guess our army actually isn't, like, very, very strong, is it? But hopefully Poland will come. Help us out. Now, where are you going? Are you going to come occupy? Don't. Wait. Pause. Thank you. Um, Get rid of all of these pop-ups. How old is our guy? He is 57, and he's soon to be a 666. So, I think... I think he'll live. And we're only 73, so next next election, we'll probably elect a new guy because he'll be 61 at that point. I don't know if he'll survive. But you lose five prestige or gain one prestige, lose a little bit of points. We'll lose a lot of money actually for it as well. Are we? I, I think we're just gonna lose the prestige. If okay, I need you guys to reinforce this army. Oh yeah, we do have our class of bellies against the Mamluks as well. Who are you ally to? You're ally to basically nobody, so it doesn't matter at all. I mean, we won't press our claims right away. Cruelty of mercenaries. Oh, let's lose 10 prestige. I don't want to make my, my mercenaries cost a lot. Okay, I'm just trying to save up my manpower. Even with oh, basically an entirely merc army, we're still losing by quite a bit. And do we even have any forts occupied? I don't think we do. Which is why he won't do any of this. Yeah, no, no forts. So we need at least pecs. Our pest, and we'll probably need this fort as well. So it's gonna be a you know much longer war than I would actually like it to be. Oh, we lost the battle. Why did oh, cause these guys are all you know you yeah, thank you, Bohemian. You go fight them. I'm probably gonna send this guy over here to go occupy this uh fort. You, you guys just basically do that. We should fight them. They should die. I don't know what Aragon stacks doing. He's just kind of there. This fort in Serbia is probably just giving us a lot of war exhaustion. But eh, you know, could be worse. Here's a guy from back from Bohemia. Poland is still. Wait, close to reality too. Bohemia, Poland, Savoy. What about improved relations with you as well? Improved relations, Pope. Improved relations. Oh, Poland's actually... How long would it take to occupy this fort back? Quite a while. Oh, actually, no, we did get the fort. So that's great. And they would say yes. You know, theoretically, if I wanted 100% war score, Hungary, Ragusa, Austria, and Bavaria would be able to join this. What if I don't take this one? And Austria is only four years away, and I think they've had truce with them for a while. So we could take a stupid amount of land from Hungary. Nobody will, will, nobody will be mad at us. Just due to the way it works. Um, needs war score. 89, we only have 43. And we'll occupy both of these territories. Bohemia did win. Our fort's going to be basically reoccupy that eventually. Oh, yeah, we were losing points. So let's get our tech. Fantastic. Uh, we're losing a little bit of ducats, but that's fine. We can choose a new idea group. Well, if we have a ton of admin and diplo, we should definitely choose one of those two. Exploration, maritime, influence. Human, was it like admin I wanted? Mercenary cost? Yeah, I think I might just, I just kind of want to go for like a high mercenary kind of play. Mercenary cost minus 25%? Sounds fantastic. I don't know if that's going to change our economy right now. Oh, it did. It went from negative 0.4 or negative 4 to, you know, negative 1. So we did save quite a bit of money on that. 
extra. 49%. You really just won't say yes to this? It's only 85 war score. This one's 64. But I guess we'll just keep occupying territory. We'll occupy territory. We'll fight you. Because you're weak. And we have more troops than you. So that should be quick and simple. Like, how much of expansion do we have? Oh, we actually have zero. Oh, that's, you know, that's great for us. That's probably why we can take so much land out of this, uh, out of this war. 58. We should be getting a taking war score. Are we already maxed on that? No. We, we can still get another 7 war score because we've, we've owned Lika. I don't think we've actually lost control of Lika. So we've had control of this, of that four, province for like four years by now. I would like not to have a huge coalition. And we'd have claims on basically all of it except for, um... Yeah, I guess we might as well just take our claims, right? Humiliate them as well. I'm, I'm assuming just taking this much money would actually be better for us. And then we'll make them pay for our debts. We'll just take what we have claims on. Um, give up claims... I'm assuming we don't have a lot more points to spend. Oh, I actually do. Um, but it can't be 10%. Nitra is apparently a country. Uh, you don't have any... I mean, if they're free, I might as well just try and make them get rid of any of their cores. Actually, if you... Get rid of this core. And... Yeah, just get rid of these cores. There we go, we got our conquer things done. Fantastic. We're large merchant republic. We have three too many. You can lose. Large merchant republic, huh? I did not know that. Okay. Well okay, well that well that kinda changes how I was gonna do things. I think we changed it if we did this. We're not going to get religious. We're not going to get diplomatic ideas. Hmm. I did not know that was a modifier in the game. Independence for Serbia. Is there a small country that I can release? I mean, Croatia has like four provinces. Bohemia has four. Serbia has more than four. Montenegro. So I guess what are we supposed to do? Just have vassals? And just never grow too much? Well, I mean, is it going up? It, it is still going up. So maybe... I, mean, I think we're fine. Un until this starts decaying naturally, I, th I think we're fine with what we're doing. Let's get rid of this pop-up for now. Oh, uh, we can core some stuff, so that's what we're going to do. We don't have a lot of admin points, sadly. The mission selected is to conquer Cyprus. Or get Ferrara to like us. Yeah, sure. What what do they feel about us right now? They're 13. So it's entirely possible that we can just boost our relations there. We'll get this back. You guys can just kind of hang out in box. I'm going to go with this uh, plus, plus 40. It's probably not going to last. No, we're going to get getting 10. But we can lower army maintenance. Um, our boats, not the transports. We did lose the transport, sadly. Oh, yeah, we were building the transport so we can go invade uh, the Mamluks. Yeah, but you guys should be protecting trade in Venice. So, yeah, you guys do that. That'll get us more money. Warzash, it's a little bit high, 7.75. Could be worse. Yeah, we just don't have the points to do any of that. Actually, it's a minus point three. I thought it was only a minus point one. And so we, we is it every province. Oh, we can't even we can't even get like ten more provinces. That's pretty bad, actually, huh? Depends on faith. I uh, what about what about states? Did we get any new territories that are not states? States and territories. It's not a core, so we can't make it into a state yet. We are coring both of them. Nobody's even... Uh, nobody's... 
Why did I get everybody off the, the siege? No, you guys definitely need to siege this now. We just have a siege. Get all of our actual troops. I thought we were a mer majority mercenary army. Apparently we're not. Just get everybody who's not a merc off of that territory. Because we don't want to be losing more troops than we need to. And I'm assuming, yeah, it's only like a little two fort, so it's, it's not a big deal. And we should probably be able to occupy with just the mercenaries. And that's fantastic. Uh, does anybody else have claims on the Hungarians? Uh, the Ottomans can claim these two. Leon also cleared war in Castile. Oh my god, Castile. Oh, you silly little guys over there. You're so screwed. So the Ottomans, huh? So Savoy joined us, but they're at war with the French. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. We have that. We have like a thousand ducats in the bank. So I mean, that's. So actually, what we can do? First things first. Fall back. Don't siege this fort because the Ottomans will siege it for us. But we're already back. We're getting our monthly war exhaustion. Terrible. Uh, Savoy, so get you back home. Okay, does that automatically raise itself? We can raise uh, war taxes, but I don't think we need to. Oh, so, okay, so, no, gee, I want to combine you. So, Morocco's sieging their way up into Castile, so they're actually doing a re-reconquista. So, good for you, Morocco. It's interesting. So, we have the Ottoman Empire. Let's look at these numbers. Um, who are they allied to? Try to the Pope and they're allied to Tunis. I swear to God, if the Pope joins a war against us... Well, they didn't. So it's actually, it's actually kind of in our favor. Oh yeah, in the entirety of the uh, the trade league gets called in as well. So we actually have more allies than I was originally expecting. So that's good. Yeah, you you just go to Serbia. Yeah, you siege down that fort. I dare you. But we're going to need more men. Um. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're also gonna have to combine here. Claims fabricated. Why do you need to fabricate claims on us, Hungary? You have, we, you know, we have a ton of your cores. Why did you say no to the call to arms? Venice is at war, so we can't even get an alliance while we're at in a defensive war. You're the worst. Like, who are you fighting? Because you're fighting Trier. You thought, nah, this is impossible. We can't help you. I mean, they're not even that strong. Only 30... I, no, they have like 60, 50... They have actually a lot more men than I was expecting. But, they don't have a lot of infantry. Well, let's go here. Split in half. Okay, we have Nuremberg. Use these side to show up. Actually, if anything, you guys... Um, you stay here. Friendly is going to attach. Attach to this army. Where? You? Goddamn Bosnian bastards. Okay. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. This is... It's mountains. So, it'd be better if you actually just siege that province and went somewhere else. Twenty-five of each points. Fantastic. How did you get wounded? Who are you at wars with, Augsbog? Oh, you're a part of that Trier War? Is he at war with somebody in the Trade League? And that's why he couldn't, like, get called in? Like, I'm, I'm confused why Bohemia wasn't allowed to join. Yes, go to any other province, because I don't want to fight a negative two penalty into the mountains. We'll take our... Alliance guys in here. So Ferrara wants access, sure. That means that we're getting close to our mission being done. I mean, they'll probably go to the... The fort. That's probably where they want to go. Oh, no. It's not. 
We just got 40, 40. We got 25, 25, 25, and then immediately got 40, 40, 40. Well, that's quite good. Uh, we'll get leader fire. But I do seem this has to be the end of this episode, so thanks for watching. My name's been Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If not enjoy, you can always sub down. Want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.